Hi guys, today we are going to talk about the leaks, leaks of oil in marine engines, gasoline engines and diesel engines. Today I have a, a couple of examples of uh, leaks of oil in marine diesel engines. Uh, I receive a lot of phone calls and emails every day related with the leaks of oil and uh, all of them have uh, the, same, the same path. Uh, the customer said, mm, I replace the gasket on the oil pan. I replace the gasket on the valve cover. It's new one. I spent hours replacing those gaskets, but uh, the leaks continue. Yes, my friend, because the leaks is uh, normally 99% is not on the oil pan seal, it's not on the valve cover seal. The leaks are in the front front seal of the crankshaft or the back seal of the crankshaft. Remember that uh, the front seal of the crankshaft is located in the timing gear cover over there. That's the seal. And the back seal, the rear seal, is located in the bell housing. You need to remove the flywheel to get access to that seal. That's the seal. Correct. Those seals, it's a lot of work, get access to those seals. We are going to go quickly into the front seal. You need to remove all the elements in front of the engines. You need to remove the rotor pump, the alternator, all of the accessories located in front of the engine, only to get access to the harmonic balancer. And when you have access to, to the harmonic balancer, you need to use the proper puller to remove the harmonic balancer. Okay guys, we are going to use the harmonic balancer puller to remove the harmonic balancer. Be careful when you remove the harmonic balancer because uh, uh, if you use puller with external legs like this, you destroyed the aluminum. Uh, the puller, the appropriate puller is this. Never, never use a puller with external legs because you broke uh, the, the external side of the harmonic balancer. And additionally, some harmonic balancers, they have two rings, one external ring and one center ring. In between both rings, they have a piece of rubber and the rubber work like a harmonic balancer. The external rings move in relative movement with the other one when the, when the motor is spinning, absorbing the excessive momentum when the engine is running. For that reason, the name is harmonic balancer to absorb harmonic distortion. Hello. Nice. Mira Diego, Diego. Okay. This is uh, the harmonic balancer, and this is uh, where the seal sit. And uh, this is the seal. Look at. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, look at the 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 evidence of oil. No. You, smell you see, it and the smell. You see. That's the evidence that the, the oil leaks over there. We are going to replace that leak, and it's, it's, uh, it's full of oil here, you see? Okay, that's the, the front seal, and we are going to replace that seal. Okay, this is uh, the procedure to remove the harmonic balancer, and immediately you have access to the seal, and you remove the seals and replace the seals. Okay, now we are going to check the back seal, that one, you see? In that boat, when I separate the transmission uh, from the engine, this is a Perkins 401A, look at the amount of oil in the bell housing. In other engine, in a, in a Janmar, three cylinders, that was the seal. And uh, of course, that seal was leaking. You see the red bell housing completely full of oil, impregnated with oil, because when the engine is running, the centrifugal force of the crankshaft splash the oil in the bell housing. Yes, you need to remove that bracket, the aluminum bracket, and in order to get access to the seal and you replace the seal. 
Uh, this is a simple process, it's not complicated. Okay, but get access to the seal is the most difficult part because uh, for the back seal, you need to separate the transmission and, uh, and uh, remove the flywheel in order to get access to the seal. But my friends, always, 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 when you have a leak of oil in a marine engine, in more engine, normally diesels, uh, is on the front seal or back seal. In, in general, is in both seals. The seals of the crankshaft. It's not on the oil pan. It's not on the valve cover. Sorry. This is the simple part. In some cases, the leaks is not on the seals of the crankshaft. It's on the seal of uh, the main shaft of the transmission. In this particular example, uh, I removed uh, Yanmar three cylinders in a catamaran in the Leopard 44 and uh, it's, a, it's a cell drive. When I remove the engine, I check the cell drive and I check the seal on the main shaft of the cell drive in good condition in this particular case. In some cases, the leak is on that seal and you need to replace that specific seal, that one. As I explained before, we removed this uh, Yanmar three cylinders uh, because uh, we have a lot of leaks of oil. Uh, we found it that uh, the leaks are from the rear seal of the crankshaft and uh, a little in the front seal also. However, I check in the sail drive because in some cases in the main shaft of the sail drive, the seal is leaking. But in this particular case, that seal is in good condition. Let me show to you. You see the seal, the seal is in perfect condition is completely dry this is not a this is not a problem this is not leaking this is water because it was raining during the movement that uh, we removed the engine but uh, the seal is in great condition um, okay yeah this is uh, one uh, less problem we are going to replace uh, the other seals the difficult is get access to those seals and replace those seals always always use original seals no aftermarket use original seals and use the proper puller to remove especially the harmonic balance okay guys those are the possibilities for leaks of oil in inboard engines yes in some cases is uh, on the front seal of the crankshaft or in the back seal or in the seal of uh, the main shaft of the transmission a little possibility for uh, the seal of the uh, valve cover or the seal of the oil pan in general are on those seals. Good luck!